Here is the 2024 Ram 1500 Sport Night Edition. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Ram 1500s, what safety features you get with this sport trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to my Mississauga Chrysler for letting me review this Night Edition. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for Stefan. Starting with the different trims you can get when it comes to the Ram 1500s, there are 8 trims to pick from. This will be the Tradesman, Bighorn, Sport, Rebel, Laramie, Limited Longhorn, Limited, and the TRX. Each of these trims will have their own unique features and options as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now as for the safety features you will get with the Sport trim, this includes the forward collision warning with active braking, and this Sport also has the optional advanced safety group added to it. So you also get things like the pedestrian emergency braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, parallel and perpendicular park assist with stop. Also this truck has the Rebel Level 2 equipment group so this is also going to add on the Park Sense front and rear park assist with stop. Lastly this truck has one more thing added to it which is the blind spot and cross path detection. Taking a look at what powers the Sport, you have two options. You can either get the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with fuel saver MDS or with eTorque. And this sport has the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 Fuel Saver MDS with eTorque. And this is going to give you 395 horsepower and 410 pound foot of torque, with capabilities of towing about 11,300 pounds when spec properly. The front of the sport looks pretty aggressive, and at the bottom, the bumper does come body color, which is standard on this trim. There's no front tow hooks on this, but you do have the front safety sensors, and on the corners are the LED fog lights. Now, the grill area is all glass black including the surroundings and this is a part of the night edition package that this truck has. There's also the black Ram logo in the middle and again this is with the night edition package. Right under that you'll also notice a front facing camera. Then are these nice looking LED headlamps with the black bezeling. Coming to the side of the sport you'll notice more of the black accents. Around the window trim it's all blacked out and you've also got the body color door handles. The side mirrors are half body color with the turn signal which also has this blacked out look to it and underneath the side mirrors are also cameras. On the sides of the hood you do have the black and blue 1500 Hemi e-torque badging and along the sides of the truck on the front doors is the blacked out Ram badge and the Sport already comes with the black badging which is standard. This truck also has the optional black Mopar tubular side steps added to it and then are these sleek looking 22 inch forged aluminum wheels that you also get a part of the night edition package and definitely look nice. Nice. This truck does have the 5 foot 7 bed or you can get the longer 6 foot 4 bed. Coming around to the rear of the Sport, just like the front, the rear bumper is also body color. And back here, you have the rear safety sensors along with the dual exhaust outlets which have this nice finish on them. Also an added thing to this truck is the hitch back here and above will be the towing outlets. On the tailgate, you have the blacked out Sport, Ram and the 4x4 badging. On the tailgate handle, you have the rear backup camera and underneath is an LED light as well. Also like the front the rear lights are also LED and have this light black tint to them kind of with the sensor there in the middle. Opening up the tailgate this truck does have the added spray and bed liner but there's no LED bed lighting and don't worry that can be added as an option. On the rear glass will be the rear power sliding window. Entering into the rear of the Sport it's an all black interior and the trim is pretty similar to the other models. At the bottom is a good amount of space with the speaker next to that. In the middle of the door you have a little bit more room and the armrest area has leather with the contrast stitching and then above is another leather section that's surrounded by this almost bronze-ish trim along with this black trim piece which you'll notice throughout the interior. As for the rear seats these are leather and are pretty comfy and they also have the nice contrast stitching all around and the perforated middle sections. Now pulling down the center area will have the cup holders. Also lifting up the rear seats you'll have extra room like any other trim. 
Plus, with the Rebel Level 2 group, you do get these in-floor storage bins for even more storage space. Behind the driver and passenger seats, you do have matte pockets for that additional small storage. On the rear console is more cup holders and more of that black trim, along with that nice bronze-ish trim. Also will be the venting, some small space, USB ports, and a 115 volt outlet. Coming to the front of the Sport, it's exactly like the rear door trim, but with a tiny bit of more space at the bottom. Everything else remains identical other than the usual window and side mirror controls. And the Sport trim does come standard with the Alpine speaker sound system. As for the front seats, this truck does have the upgraded full leather bucket seats because typically you do get the cloth seats as standard or you can upgrade to the leather slash vinyl seats. But with the full leather seats, the front seats are also ventilated, so you have the best of both worlds. And with the Sport, you can only get a black interior. Also, the front seats are power adjustable. And underneath are just the foot pedals and the hood latch release. Above is the electronic parking brake and the power foot pedal adjustments. Further up are just the typical lighting controls and the steering wheel is manual adjustable. Entering inside the Sport, the dashboard has this hard and soft material. And then you've got the recently added fully digital cluster. Now the Ram trucks were definitely missing out on this digital cluster and finally they have it. It's super clear and responsive, which is nice. On here, you can see a bunch of different things about your truck and you can also have a full map view. Plus you can change the look of the screen of how you want the RPM and speed to be displayed. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and is heated. On the left side will be the cluster controls, phone, and the favorite section buttons. The other side has the cruise control and the gear limit controls. Behind will be the high beam, indicator, and wiper controls, along with the media controls. The center armrest area is covered in leather and has this big RAM logo. Opening up the first section, it has some good space and a USB port. Opening up the main section, this will have all sorts of measurements and a ton of deep storage space here. Not only on this side, but you do have it in the front as well. And on the center slider here will be more space and cup holders and sliding that back like I was mentioning you have more space down here plus another 115 volt outlet. Then above you do have these two spaces for phones and USB ports. To the left of the steering wheel you do have the rotary gear knob and the different drive modes plus the auto start stop button. Right under the screen are some toggles so you have the traction control, tow haul and the front and rear parking sensor controls. Then is this very nice looking and sleek 12 inch touchscreen that actually comes standard on the sport models and on the screen here you have the home page with a split screen setup and also pressing on the edit pages and selecting the add pages you can even change the layout the media section has the am fm and sirius xm channels and you can also wirelessly connect your phones under comfort you have access to the heating and cooling controls or you can use the buttons along the sides of the screen here you can also access the front heated and vented seats and the heated steering wheel under navigation you have a full screen which is nice. Under your phone section you can add up to two phones at the same time. Moving over to the vehicle section you can access the mirror dimmer and see the vehicle cameras because this truck has cameras all around it like I was mentioning so parking and towing with this truck is super easy. Under the settings tab will be more things that you can fine tune about your truck. Finally under the app section it'll be the same things that I just pretty much went over plus you have Alexa built in and if you press the little temperature sections in the corners this brings up a shortcut menu. Also, swiping down on the screen brings up the favorite section. Above the screen, you'll notice more buttons. So this will be your lane keep, hazards, and the parking assist. And up top on the dashboard will be more of that black trim along with that bronze-ish trim and more small space with a 12 volt outlet. Up top is the mirror, interior lights, assist, SOS, and the rear power sliding window buttons. Here is the key fob and what it looks like for the sport. Now coming around to the passenger side, the dashboard has this sport bag and opening that up you do have some storage space here and if that does get full you still have the main glove compartment as well so you can utilize both areas plus you have a tiny bit of more space along the sides of the center console and here's the window sticker for this ram 1500 sport night edition you've got the standard stuff and the optional stuff as well the msrp you see here is in canadian dollars and this may be minus any dealer discounts or manufacturer rebates if they're being offered well that does it for the review on this 2024 ram 1500 sport night edition let me know what you think of this truck do you love it or do you hate it